In In the Presence of My Enemies 2003, a Christian memoir by Gracia Burnham with contributions from Dean Merrill, Burnham describes her journey as a missionary held captive by terrorists in the Philippine jungle, and how she's come to terms with her husband's death at their hands. The book has been highly praised by critics and general readers for its sharp insights and emotional resonance. It won the 2004 ECPA Christian Book Award for Biographies Autobiographies. Burnham lost her husband, Martin, during a rescue effort in 2002. Burnham and Martin were captured in 2001 in what's now known as the Dos Palmas kidnappings. These kidnappings took place in the Dos Palmas Resort, Palawan, by members of the terrorist group, Abu Sayyaf. At the time Burnham and her husband were taken hostage, they were on holiday celebrating their 18th wedding anniversary at the resort. In the book, Burnham describes how she and Martin served the new tribe's mission in the Philippines for 17 years before their capture. During their service, Burnham is popular, known for her helpfulness and her dedication to looking after her children. Martin is also popular, delivering mail, medicines, and supplies across the area as a jungle pilot. Burnham supports him in the aviation program and assists with administrative work. Burnham helpfully includes maps of the Philippines and a roster of both captors and hostages to allow us to better understand their movements and the conditions the prisoners endure. In total, the hostages are held captive for more than a year, despite many rescue attempts by the national military. In the presence of my enemies begins with a visceral account of the night Burnham and her husband are startled awake by guards banging on their hotel room door. They know something is wrong because the knocking doesn't sound friendly. Men burst into the room and make them leave. Burnham puts the kidnap response training she's had to use and tries to cooperate until tensions die down. She knows this is the best way to survive, at least at the outset. Burnham describes how many of the hostages don't appear to be taking it too seriously at first, because they bring suitcases and supplies. She's annoyed at herself for leaving in such a hurry, there's an expectation that this will be temporary, and the military will rescue everyone very soon. Although the assailants have guns and weapons, it's still surprisingly calm. However, once the group reveals themselves as members of the terrorist group, Abu Sayyaf, they know they're in danger and the mood changes. Everyone is categorized into either financial or political hostages. Because they're missionaries and they don't have a lot of money, Burnham and Martin become political hostages. They know this means they won't be leaving for some time because the political hostages are dealt with last. Burnham's faith in God and God's plan keeps her strong during this time. Burnham then goes on to describe what it's like trying to live in the cramped conditions of a hostage situation. She talks about how the hostages, although they speak different languages, try to find common ground and at least learn whom they're held captive beside. Everyone tries to contact friends, family, and business associates to secure ransom payments, and some hostages have their release terms agreed. For others, like Burnham, there is no quick or straightforward release. Instead, Martin makes a plea to the government to cooperate with the terrorists and meet their demands to secure his freedom. After this plea, they can only watch and wait to see what happens. In the meantime, they adapt to cramped sleeping conditions, almost non-existent facilities, little food and water, and the constant fear hanging over them all. Burnham and her husband pray to God daily for protection and to help them make the right choices to survive this. Burnham also describes her relationship with Martin and shares memories of better times. She talks about how their relationship started and the challenges they faced in their marriage. She also describes how Martin was selected to return to the U.S. to receive a promotion, but he declined because he was fulfilled by his work in the Philippines. Burnham supported his decision and never regretted it because it was part of God's plan. As Burnham expects, it takes more than a year to secure her release after the military successfully intervenes. However, Martin is killed in an earlier botched rescue, Burnham is among the final hostages to be set free. She describes how journalists covering the story are also held captive for periods of time. The only way she copes with all of this is through her faith in God and the public support of countless Christians around the world. Burnham returns home to the U.S., putting the spiritual lessons she learned as a prisoner to good use. She teaches in schools and churches, and she speaks at conferences. Although devastated after losing Martin, she puts her energy into thanking God for her life and raising her family. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.